The Palestinian resistance says it has managed to destroy 18 Israeli military vehicles in an operation in Gaza, inflicting casualties on the occupation army. A video published by the Al-Qassam brigades on Tuesday, the military wing of Hamas showed its forces targeting Israeli soldiers and vehicles east of Jabalia camp in northern Gaza. The group said its forces also targeted Israeli soldiers in fortified shelters with anti-tank rockets. The video showed the targeting of several enemy vehicles with Yasin 105 anti-tank shells, as well as targeting buildings where Zionist forces had taken cover with anti-fortification TBG shells. The scenes also showed the targeting of a Zionist sniper who was barricaded in one of the houses with an anti-fortification shell, followed by armed clashes between our fighters and the Zionist forces fortified inside the house. The Palestinian resistance also captured an Israeli army drone that was engaged in espionage operations. Eight Israeli soldiers were also ambushed in Jabalia camp, leaving some of them dead or injured. In the southern city of Rafah, shells and explosives left an Israeli Merkava tank and several armored vehicles destroyed. Israel launched brutalities in Gaza on October 7 after the Palestinian resistance movement. Hamas carried out a historic operation against the usurping entity in retaliation for its intensified atrocities against the Palestinian people. Israel has killed more than 35,170 Palestinians, mostly women and children, in Gaza since that October day.